Hello everyone! So this is our lesson for today about solving quadratic equations by extracting square roots. So this is lesson 2A for grade 9 math for the first quarter. This is based on milk week 1 which is solves quadratic equations by extracting square roots. Okay, so now let's start. Quadratic equations that can be written in the form x squared equals k can be solved by applying the following properties. So we have three properties. The first one, if k is greater than 0, then x squared equals k has two real solutions or roots. Okay? Kapag yung k ay greater than 0 o mas mataas sa 0, magkakaroon ng 2 solutions or roots. And that is x is equal to positive or negative the square root of k. So, greater than 0. So, what are those numbers? Okay, they are 1, positive 1, positive 2, positive 3, 4, 5, and all positive numbers. Those are k greater than 0. Okay, so that is the first property. Na kapag yung k ay greater than 0, magkaka magkakaroon ng dalawang solutions or dalawang roots ang um, quadratic equations. Okay, so next, let's have the second one. If k is equal to 0, then x squared equals k has one real solution or root. Okay, so isa lang yung magiging roots or solution kapag ang k is 0 and that is x equal to 0. 0 lang ang magiging solution. Okay, next, number 3. If k is less than 0, then x square equals k has no real solutions or roots. So, walang solution or roots. So, what are those numbers? Ano yung mga numbers na less than 0. So, these are negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, and all negative numbers are less than 0. Again, pag ang k natin ay negative, walang solution ang quadratic equation. Okay, so the method of solving the quadratic equation x square equals k is called extracting square roots okay so i'll give you an example for each properties okay so first if k is greater than zero so those are um positive numbers okay this is the first property example number one Find the solutions of the quadratic equation x squared minus 25 equals 0 by extracting square roots. Okay, the first step is to write the equation in the form x squared equals k. So, x squared minus 25 equal to 0. Then it becomes x squared minus 25. Okay, to write it in, in the form x squared equals to k, we're going to add 25 uh, we're going to add positive 25 both side left and right equation. So, negative 25 plus 25 equals 0 and 0 plus 25 is 25. Therefore, we have x squared equals 25. Since 25 is greater than 0, okay, based on the first property, Kapag greater than 0 ang k, magkakaroon ng dalawang values ang x. And that is plus or minus the square root of k. Okay, so let's continue. What are the two values? Okay, so we have now x equals or x square equals 25. It becomes x equals plus or minus square root of 25. So, square both sides of the equation. Then, now we have the square root of 25 is 5. Therefore, we have x equals plus or minus 5. Then, we have two values of x and that is x equals to 5 and x equals negative 5. Okay, paano malaman na tama yung sagot natin? Okay, 
to check, we're going to substitute these values in the original equation, which is x equals to 5 and x equals negative 5. Okay, for x equals to 5, and this is original equation, x squared minus 25 equal to 0, and then we substitute positive 5. So that's why we have we have 5 squared minus 25 equals 0. Okay, pag naging 0 equals 0, Ang equation natin, pag na-satisfy niya equation, ibig sabihin, uh, tama yung sagot natin na 5 or yung value na 5 ng x. Okay? So, 5 square is 25 minus 25 equal to 0. Okay? So, 25 minus 25 equals 0 equals 0. So, ibig sabihin, they are equal. So, ibig sabihin, tama yung value natin na 5. Okay, how about negative 5? Then we have the original equation, x squared minus 25 equal to 0. Substitute negative 5, so we have negative 5 squared minus 25 equal to 0. Okay, again, uh, to check natin kung uh, equal siya sa 0, yung left equations. Pag naging 0 equal to 0, ibig sabihin tama yung value ng x na negative 5. Negative 5 square is equal to negative 5 times negative 5. Then we have 25 minus 25 equal to 0. Okay, so 25 minus 25 equals 0 equals 0. Since they are equal, uh, both equal to 0, therefore the value of x which is negative 5 is correct. Both values of x satisfy the given equation. So, the equation x squared minus 25 equals 0 is true when x equals 5 or when x equals negative 5. Therefore, our answer, the equation x squared minus 25 equals 0 has two solutions. There are x equals 5 or x equals negative 5. Okay, that is an example of the first property. Okay, next, let's have the second one where k is equal to 0. And this is second property. Okay, so we have an example for the second property. Okay, solve the equation a square equal to 0. So our k here is 0. Since a square equals 0, then the equation has only one solution and that is a equal to 0. Zero. So, to check, we have a square equal to 0, substitute 0, so we have 0 square equals 0, therefore we have 0 equals 0. So, again, the, the solution is only one solution. And that the answer is, the equation a square equal to 0 has only one solution, that is a equal to 0. This example is for the second property. Okay, now we have the k less than 0. Again, less than 0 is mga negative numbers. The third property. Okay, our example for the third property. Find the roots of the equation x squared plus 16 equal to 0 by extracting square roots. Okay, so... The first step is to write the equation in the form x squared equals k. Then now we have x squared plus 16 equal to 0. It becomes x squared plus 16. Um, to write it in the form x squared equals to k, we're going to add both sides by negative 16. Okay, so therefore 16, positive 16 minus 16 is 0. 0 minus 16 is negative 16. Therefore we have x square equals negative 16. Okay, note that the k is negative 16. So, since negative 16 is less than 0, then there is no real solutions or roots. Again, for the third property, kapag ang k ay negative numbers, walang solution ang equation. Okay, so let's have another example. Find the solutions of the quadratic of the square of x minus 4 minus 36 equal to 0. Okay, to solve, so we're going to add both sides by positive 36. 
Okay, so now we have negative 36 plus 36 is 0. Then 0 plus 36 is 36. Therefore, we have the square of x minus 4 equals 36. And then the next step is, is square root natin both equation or both left and right of the equation. So, is square root of the square of x minus 4, kakancel na natin yung square. So, that's why we have x minus 4 equals to square root of 36. Okay, and then now we have x minus 4 equals plus or minus the square root of 36 which is 6. Okay, so let's continue. We're going to solve the resulting equation. That is, x minus 4 equals plus or minus 6. Okay, so it becomes x minus 4 equals 6. And then, the other one, x minus 4 equals negative 6. Okay, so, yan yung dalawang equation na isosolve natin. Okay, two values of x, which is x minus 4 equals 6 and x minus 4 equals negative 6. Okay, so, x minus 4, mag-add tayo ng plus 4, uh, both left and right of the equation. So, negative 4 plus 4 is 0. 6 plus 4 equals 10. So, we have x is equal to... 10. Then, now we have x minus 4 equals negative 6. Again, we add 4 both left and right of the equation. So, we have negative 4 plus 4 is 0. The negative 6 plus 4 is negative 2. Therefore, we have x equals negative 2. Okay, so those are the two values of x. Okay, and now the answer is the equation, uh, the square of x minus 4 minus 36 equal to 0 has two solutions and that, uh, uh, that is x equals to 10 or x equals negative 2. Okay, for the next example, find the solutions of the equation for x square minus 64 equal to 0. Okay, to solve, we're going to have for x square minus 64 equal to 0. Then, we're going to add plus 64 but left and right of the equation. So, negative 64 plus 64 is 0. 0 plus 64 is 64. So, that's why we have for x square equals 64. Now, to solve for x, we're going to divide both sides by 4. So, we... 4 divided by 4 is cancel or we have x square equals 64 divided by 4 is 16. Okay, we have now the two values of x because k is positive. Then we have x square equals 16. Therefore, we have x equals plus or minus square root of 16. Then square root of 16 is 4 and that is x equal to plus or minus 4. Then the two values of x are x equal to 4 and x equals negative 4. So those are the two values of x. And now the answer for the equation 4x square minus 64 equal to 0 has two solutions. And they are x equals 4 or x equals negative 4. Okay, so I think you're ready for your activity. Okay, so this is the direction for your activity. Solve the following quadratic equations by extracting roots. Okay, so let's have number 1. We have x square equal to 64. Number 2, c square minus 100 equal to 0. Number 3, the square of x minus 4 equals 169. And number 4, 2x square minus 50 equal to 0. Okay, that's all for now. Thank you for watching and good luck. So, para sa mga comment, suggestion, and clarification, uh, pwede nyo pong i-comment sa my comment section below. Okay, thank you and good luck.